Welcome to this short training video on the safe and correct use of the Safety Shield Human Form Recognition System. The system acts as an interface between the operator and the pedestrian, acting as a third eye for the operator and sounding an alert if a collision is imminent. During this video, we will walk you through the key features to ensure that you can use this system confidently and effectively. We'll cover the following topics. Daily checks, safe operation, camera and AI limitations, and the telematics platform. Our goal is to ensure you are equipped with the knowledge and skills to use the system safely and efficiently. Before operating the machine, it is crucial to perform a daily check of the system's cameras to ensure they are fully operational. This procedure activates both internal and external alerts, ensuring everything is functioning correctly before you begin. Step one, start by visually inspecting all cameras to ensure they are clean and free from obstructions. This includes checking the camera lenses for any damage or buildup that could affect performance. Step two, ensure the cab is clear of any obstructions, allowing the internal safety shield display and speaker to remain fully visible and accessible. Also check that all power cables are securely connected to prevent any disruptions during operation. Step three, turn the ignition on. There's no need to fully start the machine. As you do, the safety shield display will fully illuminate, indicating that the system has power and is booting up. Once the display turns off, this signals that the system is active and ready to test. Before carrying out your daily checks, ensure you are familiar with your machine's specific detection zones. Ensure the dead man is in the isolated position before commencing this activity. Not every machine is fitted with an external alarm, so please ensure this is installed. Now you're ready to proceed with the safety checks to ensure everything is functioning properly. Step four, prior to starting the check, agree communication signals with the second person. The operator should sit in the cab to monitor the internal audible and visual alerts while the second person moves around the machine. The second person should start in a non-detection safe area to ensure no detection occurs initially. The external person should move into the vision of the first camera, activating both internal and external alerts. The internal safety shield display will show amber when someone is detected within the outer detection zone, accompanied by a series of audible beeps. If someone enters the inner detection zone, the display will turn red and a spoken message saying Pedestrian detected. The second person continues to move around the machine, ensuring you remain clearly visible to each camera and check that the alarms stay active throughout the process. When the second person moves out of the final camera's field of vision, the internal and external alarms will stop alerting. The alarm should stop when you are five meters away or at the preset detection distance. Operators must familiarize themselves with the internal safety shield display. Upon turning on the machine, the safety shield display will illuminate. When the display goes dark, the system is active. If a pedestrian enters either the outer or inner detection zone, the directional lights on the safety shield display will illuminate in the corresponding color. These illuminated lights indicate the direction of where the pedestrian has been detected, providing clear visual feedback to the operator. When a pedestrian enters the outer detection zone, the safety shield display will show an amber light accompanied by a series of audible beeps. If the pedestrian moves into the inner detection zone, the display will turn red, signaling a higher level of proximity. Along with the red light, the system will emit continuous beeping and announce pedestrian detected through the internal speaker. When more than one pedestrian enters the detection zone, the system is designed to accurately track and alert based on their movements. The system will simultaneously detect multiple individuals and activate the appropriate alerts for each detected person. The safety shield display will show the directional lights for all pedestrians in the detection zones, with each alert clearly visible. If someone enters the detection zone, it's essential to follow the correct procedure to maintain a safe working environment. If the pedestrian leaves the detection zone, the alarms will stop and the system will return to its normal state, with the display no longer illuminated. Obstructions such as dirt or weather-related buildup on the camera lenses can interfere with the camera's field of view, leading to reduced detection accuracy. Regular cleaning of the cameras is essential. 
The digital thumbs up is designed to enhance communication and safety between the operator and pedestrian. Activated by the operator once the machine has been properly isolated, this indicator signals that it is safe for the pedestrian to approach the machine. Thumbs up, accepted. Approach with caution. When the system detects movement within its detection zones, it captures footage to ensure that every event is documented for safety and accountability. This footage provides a detailed visual record of the area, including the position of the pedestrian, the surrounding environment and the timing of the event. The recorded footage is securely stored and can be accessed later for review. This is particularly useful for verifying incidents, investigating potential hazards or conducting safety audits. Thank you for watching this training and information video on the Safety Shield Human Form Recognition System. If you have any questions or would like more information, please contact your Flannery or Safety Shield representative.